Avoid unnecessary words. Avoid wordiness. Time is money according to the most common cliches. Wasting the reader's time will annoy the reader much as a 30 minute speech with a three minute message. Economize, cut sentences, prune phrases. As we attempt to sound more conversational, we may fall into the trap of using more words than we need. So this video is for all of you guys who are just on the wordy side. We're gonna we're gonna economize your speech today. Let's dive right in. Let's look at our two categories. We have our wordy phrase category and our concise phrase zzz category. So let's begin. Our first wordy phrase would be I would like a check in the amount of five dollars. Our wordy phrase is check in the amount of five dollars. Now, how would we economize that phrase and cut it down into maybe say two words? What will we do? What will we cut out? Well, guess. All right. How about I'd like a $5 check. We can cut check in the amount of $5 to just a $5 check. That's our concise phrase. Let's move on to sentence number two. I'd like my $5 check at this point in time. I'd like my $5 check at this point in time. At this point in time being our wordy phrase. Now, how would we check at this point in time and economize that phrase into one word? Guess. Okay, three, two, one. I'd like my $5 check now. I'd like my $5 check now. So, we economized at this point in time to now. Let's look at our next sentence. I wish to take the opportunity to thank you for having me over. I wish to take the opportunity to thank you for having me over. Very, very formal uh, sentence right here. It's very, very formal, very, very polite too. And uh, now uh, we could continue, we could still make it polite, but we can cut it down to about two words. We can cut this phrase down to about two words. So, I wish to take this opportunity to thank you for having me over, and we could cut it down to two words. D, you, you want to take a, you want to take a guess what those two words are? Ready? There you go. Thank you for having me over. Thank you for having me over. So we just cut down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A ten-word phrase into three to three words. Thank you for having me over. Still formal, still polite. Still gets the point across the same way as the first sentence would. Okay, let's go on to our next one. I do this at all times of the night. I do this at all times of the night. At all times of the night. We can economize this three word, these three words and turn it into one. Would you like to take a care? Would you like to? Would you care to guess which? What word would it be? I'll give you ten seconds. Right. Ready? If you said if your answer was always, spot on. I always do this at night. I always do this at night. 
right here, let's move on. So let's look at our next wordy phrase. I want to pay for this period of a, I want to pay this for a period of a year. I want to pay this for a period of a year. For the period of a year. We can economize this one. We can prune this phrase into, I'd like to pay this annually. I'd like to pay this annually. So for the period of a year to annually, annually. So we just prune that phrase down into annually. Let's prune another phrase down. Acknowledge receipt of your letter. Acknowledge receipt of your letter. Now, um, we're gonna prune this one also. Would you like to take care? Would you care to guess how we prune this one down into? There you go. Thank you for writing me about something. Thank you for writing me about. So we took one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So actually, the, the, the uh, concise phrase is a little longer, but instead of acknowledge receipt of your letter, um, very formal, but we still pruned it down to something very formal, but just, uh, I guess, it's a little faster, swifter to say. So let's move on. I completely finished with this. I completely finished with this. We can prune this one like completely down. So on two, we can prune it down to, I'm finished with this. I'm finished with this. Easy, so completely finished to finished with this. So we have a double adverbial phrase, double adverbs, completely and finished. And we just cut the completely out and I'm finished with this, easy. Let's go down. I have future plans to be a lawyer. I have future plans to be a lawyer. Uh, this would be called redundancy right here, future plans. We can care to guess how we cut this one down to. If you said, I have plans to be a lawyer, you are correct. You are correct. I have plans to be a lawyer. You can you can economize this sentence by just cutting out future future and just keeping plans. Very good. Very good. Let's move on. Wordy phrase. During that time period. So, let's economize this sentence into what do you think we can cut out here? In that sentence, what can we cut out? Right? How about during that period? So, time and period, uh, double it's a redundancy, and we can cut a time out and just put period. That's it. During that period, something, something. Good. Any particular type of restaurant is fine with me. Any particular type of restaurant is fine with me. This is very wordy, and we can actually cut maybe two words, two or three words out of this. And prune it down to about two or three words, no, about four words. And any particular type of restaurant is fine with me can be turned into any restaurant is fine with me. There you go, straightforward. So, what we're doing here is we're doing straightforward um, phrases, straightforward talking. Very good. Let's go. We need a higher level of funding. We need a higher level of funding, a higher level of funding, which would also, we can cut this down. It's, it's, it's just a little wordy and we're gonna cut it down too. We need more funding, simple, simply we need more funding. The same point, it gets the same point across and it's just more straightforward. Next one, it's not unreasonable. It's not unreasonable, hmm. Well, then if it's not a reasonable, then it must be reasonable. It must be reasonable. Good. And with that being said, um, just rewind tape, read the wordy phrases, and then read the concise phrases, compare, contrast, and see which words we cut out. And remember, wasting the reader's time will annoy the reader or the listener. Economize, cut sentences, prune phrases, 
and you'll be a concise reader or speaker. Thank you.